Good morning, everyone. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. Today has been a bit busy for us. We have been running around trying to get the kids ready for their school year, and I'm sure other mothers are doing the same. So this cup of coffee was very much needed this morning. Today for lunch, I had a bowl of mixed fruits that I got from Publix. Tonight for dinner, I made my spaghetti, but I did do it with the spaghetti squash, so I'm gonna show that recipe in just a few moments. But just to jump straight into it, this is the meat sauce that you put on your spaghetti, and of course you want to brown your beef, drain it, and then you can use these ranch seasoning packets um, but I like to use the bottle of ranch, the seasonings, not the, not the dressing, but you just put enough on it and, you know, eyeball it is what I do, but just for the first time you're making it, I did used to always use the packets, but it's up to you, whatever you're comfortable with. But this is the sauce that I use. I actually like the Sunday, I think it's called, way more. It is really good, and it's the closest thing that I've tasted that tastes like homemade sauce. So I definitely recommend it. It is definitely pricey, but I definitely recommend it if you're wanting something a bit more, just not as like sugared up. So now I'm putting in my pepperonis. Don't knock it till you try it. If you've never tried pepperonis and spaghetti, it is delicious. And every single person who's ever tried my spaghetti loves it. So definitely, definitely try it. Even if you don't try this stuff that I put in my spaghetti, put pepperonis in it and see if you guys like it. It's so good. <laughs> So everything you need to prepare your spaghetti squash is olive oil, pepper, and salt. This is my very first time ever making spaghetti squash, so I struggled a lot trying to cut this thing open, and I wanted to share it with you guys because I want y'all to know going into this, if you're also going to do it, that it is very difficult. Actually, in a few seconds, you're going to see me cut my finger, so I just wanted to give you guys the whole experience. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't cut myself, but it was definitely difficult to cut this thing open. So um, you can watch me struggle for a little bit. And just like a pumpkin, you want to scoop out all the guts. You can roast the squash um, seeds just like you would pumpkin seeds, but um, that's totally up to you if that's something you want to do, but I did not. I just threw mine out, but um, yeah, you just want to scoop those out until you get to the middle. So now that you have gotten all the seeds out in the guts, you're now going to want to put your olive oil and just rub it on the inside of the squash. And before I forget, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now you're going to add some salt and pepper to your squash. Once you get done doing that, you are now going to want to flip them and then put them in the oven for 35 to 45 minutes. I did mine for 40 minutes. And don't be silly like me and try to take them out the oven while they're still hot. Um, I kind of, sort of, kind of did burn my fingers a little bit. I actually did. <laughs> That's not a joke. Um, but I'm okay. I, I've, I've went through worse, right? <laughs> so um, you're going to see me struggle for a minute on that also. Now I'm just going to take my fork and start just, you know, separating all the spaghetti. 
spaghetti squash and making it look like some noodles. I was actually very surprised by this, by the way. Because like I said, this is the first time I've ever made it. And this is where I'm trying to see if it does a spaghetti pool like a normal. And it did. It was really, really good. So I just continue doing that. And also, if you're going to make this, I believe it stays good in the fridge for up to a week. So I did save my extras. And now I'm just going to put a little bit of the spaghetti sauce on top. I will tell you, if you do try this, um, keep an open mind that it doesn't taste exactly like spaghetti. Hey guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video today. But before you go, I wanted to talk about a few things real quick. So when it comes to calorie counting, I really did not do that today. I just intuitively ate. I'm not going to continue doing that because I like kind of having a structure of like, okay, how many more calories can I eat in a day? Um, but on the spaghetti squash it was delicious i loved it i will say if you make it it doesn't take away that feeling of eating carbs or pasta but it's a great alternative and i even think it would be delicious if you put some alfredo and some grilled chicken on it i think mean, that would sound great but maybe i'll try that again in the future but i wanted to shout out another creator and i feel like i've been doing that like every single video but the reason for that is because every single person that I follow or that follows me back, like y'all can look in my comments, like honestly, just look at my comments at the amazing people that watch my channel and like support me. I did not think that social media was like this. Like whenever you hear about social media, it's all negative and I haven't had social media in like 10 years. So the thought of putting myself out here, I just wasn't expecting the support, the encouragement, and to know that there are others that are also on the same journey as me, even if they're doing Slimming World or they're doing, you know, like, I don't know, it doesn't matter what weight, what weight loss plan they're on or what, you know, journey that they are to just become healthier. It doesn't matter because we all have basically the same goals. We're just trying to better ourselves and better our health. And it's just very encouraging and I love it so much. But so the creator I wanted to shout out today is Neek and Tony. It's a husband and a wife. They share the channel. Um, it's more so the wife that um, kind of shows her weight loss journey, but also vlogs like her date nights with her husband and her outings with her children. Like they recently went to the zoo a few times and those videos are great. I love, love her videos. I mean, she would tell you, if you ask her, she would tell you that I'm one of the first person to comment on her video or probably even see her video because I have her notification bell on. And I do that for a lot of the creators that I really follow and really enjoy. Um, but she's definitely one of them. And her and her husband, they compliment each other so well, like their um, personalities. She reminds me a lot of me and my husband um, because they've been together for a long time. And so have me and my husband. It's just, it's just a bond that, you know, you share with someone. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I recommend her if you're wanting to, you know, just add on a new YouTuber to watch or if you just ever get bored and you want to watch somebody, I definitely recommend her. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think I'm a, just about done talking your ear off, but I will see you guys on Thursday. And on Thursday, I'm planning on taking out my fall stuff because that spaghetti squash put me in the mood. It put me in the fall mood and where I live, it stays hot all year round like even when it gets really close to like christmas sometimes it's like cold enough and warm enough where you can still wear shorts out it's ridiculous but um so i go ahead and decorate as soon as i can so i will see you guys on thursday and i hope y'all have a wonderful day bye From nowhere